So now what do you do when the market's at an all-time high? Do you buy? Do you sell? Are you worried? Can it keep going higher, you ask? This is Tyson Ray, financial advisor at Form Wealth Advisors, where we exist to help make life better for our clients and those in our community. And this is up or down for January. And as the market's coming to a close, the market actually finished down. On the backdrop of the elections over with, we have an inauguration. It's been a lot of headlines, it's been a lot of chaos, and yet it's all behind us and we're moving forward. And I think that's the biggest thing we need to remind ourselves when it comes to investing, is that we move forward. Time doesn't stop. And yes, the markets can pull back, but up to this point, those pullbacks feel permanent, but are temporary. But the advances, every time you're at a new all-time high, those advances, those feel temporary, and yet it seems those are permanent. I want to give a shout out to Ben Carlson uh, at A Wealth of Common Sense for an article that he put out where he basically went back and pulled some resources about investing with all-time highs. And what did he find? He found what I've been kind of feeling all along. All-time highs beget all-time highs. In fact, in 2020, with COVID and everything that happened, the market set 30 all-time highs. Uh, or 2017, where he had 62. The market continues to make all-time highs, and then it corrects. The correction gives opportunity to get in. It also gives you an opportunity to not panic out. But all-time highs, the market being at an all-time high is not necessarily a sign to stop investing, to stop adding to the portfolio. Since 1988, and that's the only data we have to go off of, and the data is through August of 2020, uh, on a one-year, three-year, and five-year average, investing at an all-time high was the right thing to do. And so you can't let the market being at an all-time high today stop you from making an investment that you're going to need tomorrow or for the rest of your life because history being the only guide that we have, as imperfect as it is, tells us that, well, things might actually get better than you think. And that's what we learned in 2020. And I think that's what we're going to see again here in 2021. And if by chance you make this investment or we hold these portfolios in these markets at all-time highs and we have a correction, again, as long as you have that plan and you have that cash reserve set aside that you don't have to panic out of your investment, you can ride out what is these normal corrections that happen from time to time. And last year, as severe as it was, recovered almost as fast as it happened. And so what long-term investors need to realize is, is that it's not timing the market, not trying to buy when the market's down and sell when the market's at an all-time high. It's actually allowing your investments to grow in the market. It's the amount of time you have to let those investments grow than trying to time the market. And too many clients and too many uh, talking heads out there in media land, too many investors are trying to gamble and play games with timing things and they hurt themselves. And so if you want a safe place to come to have a conversation with someone that's caring about what your needs are and how we can try and help you live a better life, give us a call because we'll help walk you through your concerns to realize that some of, some of everyone's money, in our opinion, should probably be taking advantage of these markets for the, for the wealth effect they have over decades and generations and not getting caught up that today it might be at an all-time high. So with that, this is Tyson Ray, financial advisor at Forum Wealth Advisors, where we exist to help make life better for our clients and those in our community.